Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Third Rome playing as Moravia, which I must say I really enjoy that Moravia is like front and center demanding your attention. You can barely read everything else, but it's like, hey, Moravia. I like that. It's a it's a nice perk. It's a nice perk of being the largest nation in the world by a long shot. Alright, in today's video, we are not going to be taking on Ming. I've decided not to bother with them. Here's why. At least I'm hoping this is a gamble that will work out. So we know that they have uh, rebels, Ki, Jin, revolutionaries, some rebel factions, not a lot. I'd like to think that this means that they have a fair bit of unrest working against them. And we can actually confirm that looking here. Neighboring provinces that I have claims on, I can see some of those unrests and there's like 12% there. So in theory, if he does have that much unrest in a lot of his nation, I'm hoping it won't be that long until we start seeing a bunch of revolutionaries or separatists pop up and try to form their own tiny little nations. Which would be great, and if that's the case, this is the worst possible time for me to declare war on them. Because then, I'd be trying to siege them down and have to kill all their separatists and then they never would mingplode. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to let it go. I know that they have no mandate, which means that they take an extra 50% damage to their troops. So they cannot fight the rebels, so as long as two, three, four more groups of Separatists fire, I think it's very much guaranteed it's just a question of time. How long will it take for Ming to explode? That's the big question. In the meantime though, there are some big uh, fish that we still need to fry, so I will be killing Basai and Siak and so on and so forth today. We'll also try to take down Madagascar and Buha just so I can cross Africa off my list and say, hey, now I can focus all my attention on Asia and never have to leave. That would be great. Yay. To that extent, we're going to go ahead and start transferring troops away from where it was former Luwu. Get some extra troops over here by Madagascar. We'll need the transports at the very least. And before we declare the next war, let's try to make uh, Brunswick happy so I can start the annexation process with them. Get them up to, there's the 190 opinion that I'm looking for, so all I should have to do now is click at the button next month. We'll start the annexation process, and that will at least let me start filling in some gaps. Not a massive good use of diplomatic power, but not the worst thing I've ever done either. Let's also consider spending some of my money, because we did just create a bunch of states, so we can try getting some more manpower and stuff like that. Eh, reasonable, I suppose. Nothing extraordinary. Some taxes, sure. Eh, those aren't that good. Production, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Counting houses, ooh. I don't know. Courthouse? Sure, why not? Um, and a bit of trade power. Nothing else really is standing out to me as amazing, though, unfortunately. Uh, nine, three. Man, many factories, like, started sucking at some point in this particular game, didn't they? Anyways, who? All right, so yeah, we're gonna wait one month. Oh gosh, reloading the game does this every time. We're gonna wait one month, and we're gonna start the annexation process of Brunswick, and then we are going to want to kill those two countries that I was talking about. Rukwa has finished colonizing. Really, that was surprisingly quick. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, where would I colonize next, though? Let me think about that for a second. I guess we could continue colonizing up here in Siberia. Is there anything else that stands out as really important right now? I can't annex Brunswick yet, obviously. I think we have to go back up to Siberia? Could do that. Thinking about future border gore, start filling some of this stuff out. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. All right, let's go ahead and get started there. Hamburgian particularists. Hmm. I did hand off a lot of lands, and they probably are pretty darn overextended, so... I guess none of that is supposed to be very surprising to me. Do I have troops that are left behind somewhere? I do have them. It's not quite what I had in mind. Uh, I don't know. Can we can we deal with the particularists? Let's go ahead and start transitioning these guys over this direction. I know it's a long march, but in theory, I shouldn't have to leave these troops up here in Europe anymore out of principle anyway. If you guys would just handle your own problems and stop calling me in, we'd be good to go. Hey, look, more rebels. Hmm. I can only hope that Ming is having as much trouble as I am. Chagatai Khanet. Uh, okay. Let's see. Take this general, I guess. Go Skivisha Skivisha. Kazaki separatists, eh? Is that who's up here? Okay, let's go kill them too. 
you go here, because we are about to start up a new colony and we will want to defend. And we are now producing wool in Hehe. <laughs> Bonin gave me money because they are kind-hearted. <sighs> yes, your, um... Your, uh, your 15 or 17 ducats or whatever it was is, uh, very much appreciated, I'm, I'm sure. And once again, they try to rise up. Gosh, these guys are annoying. Oh, wait, that's not what I had in mind. Hang on. I'll send you there. There we go. Okay. So we're ready to kill Buha. We're ready to kill Madagascar. Brunswick. Annex. Process begins. Pull off of them. Where's my transports? There's my transports. All right, I think we are ready to begin the next stage of the war. We have some troops relatively close by. Hello, revolutionaries. How are you? Uh, can I march around here? No. See, this is the thing. I actually don't have connected borders here, which is a bit of a pain. A little bit of a pain. Um, where are you? You guys come down here. I'm fairly confident that I'm going to need some transports in a little bit to just get across here. Um, and that'll have to do, I guess. All right, are we ready to begin the next war? The next uh, wave of wars. Oh, lordy, I hope so. Okay, everything's looking fine here. Go ahead and unsiege all that. Got troops in position to deal with unrest. All right, so we want to declare war on them and co-belligerize Siak. I do not think... I will not be able to co Brunei. And I don't want to fight Ming. So that's why I'm not declaring on these guys and co-belligerizing Brunei. I'm going to have to deal with Brunei piecemeal. As long as I do this earlier, I think we'll be okay. So, beside, go belligerize them. Look how many freaking nations serve me. It's so cool. All right, I think we are ready to begin. Imperialism! And so it begins. Da, 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 da. Lord of the Rings reference. Shut up. It's fun. I like Lord of the Rings. Good stuff. Um, all right, so go ahead and also declare some extra wars, I think. Do you want to start with Buha? Buha! Naval research was wrong. I don't care, lose a prestige, that's fine. I can be wrong as much as I want. It doesn't actually matter when you're this rich and powerful. Uh, wait a couple of days, start a new war. Come on. Come on. There we go. Declare another war. Imperialism! And let's get a general in charge. You'll do just fine. And go, go, go. Move on there, Capital. It'll be great. And then you guys are now in position to also kill Madagascar. Okay. So once these guys are done, I think the next target would have to be Usugi. But we're still really depending on Ming imploding. If they don't, I may want to declare war on, let's say, Turnate or somebody, a tributary, and start beating them down again. But so long as they have zero mandate, I can't imagine they're doing well. I mean, that would just be ridiculous. Ow. Now, now, now. Okay. Um, you guys need to transfer over... Hang on. You guys go here. Let's pick them up real quick. I don't want to risk them pulling the wrong navy. Cape Kamau. Whatever that the heck's supposed to mean. Land here. Establish a beachhead. Okay. Ready to convert some more Sunni. And everything else is looking more or less okay. Disloyalist states, yes, I'm ignoring the tech until we get to military tech. Uh, supply limit, infantry, fire, and cavalry shock. Pretty good. Might want to make use of that at some point. Oh, hi. You do have troops. What do you know? All right, are we ready to declare war on you? It hasn't even been a month yet. There we go. It's been a month. All right, another imperialism war. And here we go. Drop them off. Line them up and knock them down. Okay, we got their capital done. And Provence decided to jump on this. Oh, they're level 17 tech. Oh, I almost feel bad. 17? Really? I guess they're not really in a position to be embracing enlightenment values or anything, but still, holy cram. All right, Imperial Louisiana. Uh, let's go ahead and send the Mercs. We'll go put them down. Things seem to be doing okay in most of Mexico and New Moravia. Hmm, okay. So, yeah. Good. So, I think Provence can handle this one. We'll just go for their fort. No! A general died! Oh, well. We're not over the force leader limit anymore. Force leader limit? Leader force limit. Thank you. Words. They probably mean something, but no one really knows for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and dock up. 
I don't need to fight these uh, ships right here. And there goes their capital. That was easy. Continue working on the Sunni. Getting close to capped out on that military power there. What on earth am I going to do with that stuff? No one knows. Hey, you're sieging down a fort from Verden. That is rude and unappreciated. Uh, let's see. Can I get some blockades going? This is a pretty opportune location. The Straits of Malacca get a double blockade going on two forts simultaneously. I call that pretty good. Perfect. All right, those extra values will be nice. Um, okay, so Buha wants out. Well, I'm not done with you yet, unfortunately. You have the audacity to build a level 4 fort. You're a level 17 military tech, but apparently you know how to build, um... Somewhat competent forts. Provence is coming after you again, though, because Provence thinks it's funny that they can do things like this. Oh no, the natives. Oh, the natives can't. You know, what What tech level do the natives have by default? Four? <laughs> it's not much. You got no more forts. Okay, 53 war score, huh? Uh, split, split, and split. I'm, I'm not even slightly worried now. Turns out, five troops can probably deal with you. Cruelty of mercenaries? No! I'll just let it cost more money. Money doesn't matter. It's one of the reasons I don't like having mercenary armies that much, but... Hey, saves me a heck of a lot of manpower, so... There you go. Go get them, Provence. You're doing great. Doing a great job. I promise. Do we have a siege? Saw rebels. Hostile siege. Hello! Wow, you're pretty uh, far away, aren't you? Well, let's not take the general here. This is unnecessary. Go kill them, and then come down here or something. I don't know. Uh, Ming, I see shoe separatists. Those are new. Okay. Up, oh, Miao, Qi, revolutionaries, Jin, and Shu. Okay, I think the meme implosion is finally happening, guys. I think my gamble was well worth it. We are on the way to their death. If they can get, like, four or five, you know, rebels going at the same time, I mean, how, how, how do you recover from that? When you're taking an extra 50% damage? Answer, you don't. You don't take. You don't survive. It's just over. It's over, man. Game over. Alright, let's go ahead and move over here for now. What's your tech level, by the way? 29. You're still on 29, but I'm on 30. That's not bad. Let's see if I can, um... Let's see if I can just cross here, you know? I'll, 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 worry, I'll worry about fighting you head on, but I don't, see any re I don't see any allies nearby, so we have a numbers advantage and a tech advantage. I think we can establish a beachhead here safely. Hey, look, that's dead. Oh, crap, you do have reinforcements. Well, I'll be danged. Um... Hmm... Maybe we want to go ahead and land the reinforcements. I'll let the I'll let I'll let Austria deal with the rest of this crap. Oh, uh, I take that back. There is a fort. All right, let's go ahead and go over there. You do need to be somewhat cautious, though. It's going to be very difficult for me to retreat um, with things being the way that they are. Now we could fight them in the. Oh, hey, we're the papal controller finally after like two hundred years. My mission's done. Tolerance of the true faith. Hey, that's excellent. It actually reduces quite a bit of unrest in a lot of places. Um, okay, we can reduce our overextension for Diplo Rep. Yeah, sure, that sounds fine. Um, I might as well spend a little bit of my Papal Influence, because as we are converting people and getting free Papal Influence, we're wasting the value. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, we established a beach beachhead, go for his capital. He's going to be stuck on this level 8 fort for a little while. Well done, Verden. And Buha. Let's just full annex you. I got a fair amount of admin power, so I'm thinking I just go ahead and take this for myself so that I don't have to worry about this war later. And I think that's fine. 86% overextension? Okay, I guess we wait until October of 1797. I am sort of surprised, though. Wow. All right, go up here. You go here. Let's kill the Buhans. Uh, how are we doing down over here? Pretty good. We have a numbers advantage over him, and he is on tech level 26, which puts us at a distinct advantage. And we're just working on this inland fort, which is his only remaining fort. After that, we can stomp down his army and just siege him down to our heart's content. You go here. And the siege of Johor is over. Good. We can now cross straits. Um, do I want to cross a strait right now? If he's going to let me, sure. Let's guarantee, well... Let's, let's, let's guarantee that we are able to cross at a whim in case he does have some naval 
superiority at some points. I'm a little concerned that we're putting ourselves in harm's way, but we'll see. We've maxed out relations currently with Mongolia, our vassal. All right, so I have an extra diplomat now, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's, I don't know, influence you, try to build up some trust and stuff like that. I mean, you're disloyal, but if I were able to spend some prestige and put that down, I think you'd be fine. Let's see. Liberty desire, relative power of vassals, 128%, is a horde. Hordes have an extra 10% liberty desire. Makes sense. Wasn't aware of that. Kill them. Go here. Otherwise, A-OK. -okay. You go here. That is a colony. And more people converted. See, that's eight extra papal influence that we would have lost if I had not spent some of it. Pays to spend your papal influence, man. Don't hold on to that stuff forever. Okay, so they're dead. We're just waiting for our overextension to come down. I guess you guys can stay here and get ready to put down unrest. Okay, making good progress here. We are at war with Brunei, yes? Yes, okay. We do need to transfer over to there at some point. Uh, 76,000 troops sitting here, huh? Yeah. No, no, I don't think I'm going to allow you to do that. Let's allow friendlies to stack up here. Uh, Livonian Order. Whoa, Livonian Order. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, buddy. Buddy. 38 on 75. Yes, we've got the jungle, but you're feeling a little overly optimistic, I would say. Look at that. See what happens? Oh, God. All right, we reinforced. You're lucky. You're lucky I was paying attention. You know? All it would have taken, right, is me just, like, sitting on the toilet a little too long and reading a magazine, and it's like, oh, crap, something was going on, huh? And I wouldn't have known. Hey, but I got stack wiped. That's fun. Okay, we destroyed their navy. Also fun. Um, Let's talk up here. We're going to pick up an army and go to Brunei. I think at this point they've more or less been shattered. Siak has a big army, and we do have to deal with that, but Pasai, I think, is dead. Nice. Continue converting. Capped out on two different kinds of power. No way. That's redonkalonk. Okay, do that, do that, do that. Bam, all right. Fortification effort, sure. Take that for the rest of the game. That's easy. Easy choice. Okay, stock up the troops. Skills of the Empress Consorts. Tech cost reduction. Hmm. Not that I especially need it, but hey, I could use that. I mean, what else am I doing with my military power? Should we just go ahead and double down and spend eight years ahead of time to have a super strong army? Yeah. I have zero use for uh, military power aside from just getting extra manpower, right? That's it. That's the only thing I have to use for military power. And in the meantime, if I win these fights even more decisively, that also saves me manpower. So it kind of works out to being the same thing when you think about it. Almost. It almost does. All right, I see your capital there, and I know that I want it, but we're going to have to live without it for the time being. Besides, basically dead. Uh, if my vassals wouldn't mind cleaning up after my mess, that would be great. Hey, I see a bunch of cores done. Okay, we have zero overextension, which means now we can finish off Buha. Good job. All right, take all of that, and you are out. Thank you, Buha. And the reason I'm taking this is, one, I have the power. Two, well, let's be colonized a bit more now if I want to. Doop, 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 Okay. Could have gotten it for free, but now I don't have to wait. So, meh. Meh. All right. How are we doing here? 57% chance going forward. That's not bad. He can't go anywhere. He's trapped. He's literally trapped on an island with me. I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to go kill Flanders. Well, Flanders, what were you doing? You shouldn't be there. Very irresponsible of you. I'm just saying... Let's uh, do a little shuffle split. These armies are in balance, and I don't like it. The Shoe Separatists are still working down, I guess, a level 8 fort. But once they get it, they're going to be quite strong. Chu Separatists. Shu and Chu and Meow. Shu to Meow. Shu to Meow. I don't know. It's, I'm not trying to be offensive, per se. I'm just saying it sounds funny. Okay? It's a funny sound. Shu to Meow. I don't know what it means. Presumably it's a it's a proper noun, but what if it means something in Chinese or Mandarin? I have no idea. Alrighty. Look at you trapped in the corner on an island with nowhere to run, the ocean at your back. This, this right here, okay, is the very uh, definition of a feudal effort. He is 
oh so very screwed, and he is oh so very aware of his situation in life, and he wishes to cry. But tears are not manly, or something, I don't know. Take this, go kill the Bukharan Separatists since they apparently still exist. Alright, what are you going to do, buddy? Absolutely nothing. I think you're just dead. Ah, a stack wipe. Split, split, and split. And split, and split, and split. Split, 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 go there, 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 there. There, there, there. There, there, and that'll do. That's all we will need to finish them off. Hmm, now who would I give it to? I'm thinking I give it to Utrecht and East Frisia, actually. To try and bump out their coring range a little bit more and get one more vassal that's capable of doing stuff over here. Because I'm fairly... Oh! Fairly confident that my vassals are having a hard time dealing with all of this. Fairly confident. Alright, let's try landing here in Cebu. We'll go for your capital after that, Brunei. Try taking some of your colonies or something, I don't know. You have stuff that I want. Basically, everything you own is stuff that I want. Okay? Okay. I'm going to finish this off. Good. Uh, we've won the Siege of Muko Muko. What an awesome name that is. Tell you what. We lost an advisor. Hmm. Unrest or missionary strength? Ooh. Tough call, actually. I'm going to go for the missionary strength so we can get more Catholics because the uh, unrest reduction that we'll get there could be pretty good. Lose the stability no matter what we do. Aw. All right, missionary strength. I don't care about tech costs at this point. Let's go ahead and get a new stability. Bam. That is why we have papal influence. It's the reason I stayed Catholic this entire game. Catholic can be pretty good, you know? It's not bad. Not bad. All right, you guys go here, and that should finish off Madagascar. So we'll sit on them for the rest of this uh, war against Pasai, and we'll use them to kind of hand off land, blah, blah, blah. This, for example, is going to go to East Frisia. Like so. Ooh, hello. And this is going to go to Utrecht, so we can get them some coring range, so they can start taking over parts of Indonesia. Bremen also wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, oh, hang on. Bremen? Bremen hasn't done anything in a long time. If they can handle it, maybe we should actually give them a province. Something to kind of give them a little bit more extension. Sure, all right. We'll split up Madagascar in, across a few different provinces. How's that sound? I think it sounds great. Okay, you guys sit tight for a bit. You're doing fine. Doing A-OK, -okay, man. Uh, all right. Pasai. Mongol Pretender Rebels. There's so many freaking rebels. Kill them. Okay, how are you looking up here? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Looking for the red. These guys actually did manage to kill those guys. Well done. Go up here. Then come down here, I think. You guys go here, I guess. Get ready to fight Ming again at some point. Okay, you guys go to the capital of Brunei. Start sieging them down. I'd like to knock them out as soon as possible. More people have been converted. Good. We're starting to convert the Hindu now, though. Um, I guess one thing we could do is pick up the, the troops real quick and just go put down the English peasants that have been here for forever. I mean, it's probably time to do something about that, right? Probably. Let's go ahead and dock them up. Or take them out into the water. Siege of Brunei is done. Nice. Can I peace out with you already and take, like, let's say this, this, this? No. You probably have a fort here, don't you? No, surprisingly, you don't, but you're not willing to give it to me anyway. Well, we do have rebels that are proving problematic. Afghan separatists now, and Nepalese. Okay. Go up here. Go down here, then here, then here. Oh, I'm, bum, bum, bah, bah, bah. I'm starting to get tired now. It's getting late at night. I'll tell you guys, I record for a long dang time. It's just what I do. Try putting out two videos a day, including weekends lately, just to try and knock out this EU4 stuff, and yeah, it adds up. It adds up pretty darn quick. Alright. Uh, Mewari. Hmm. Well, they're already dead. New Commandant. Gain a Commandant? Oh. 
Don't have any particular use for that, but alright. So kill them, then come down here. Okay, Nepalese separatists are doing things that they do. Uh, Yutsang separatists are huge. How are we looking up here? Jin, Ming, Miao, Qi, Chu. Still got a long ways to go, apparently. Now, one thing I could do is try supporting rebels in uh, Ming, but I don't want to ally them once they do actually break free. I do not want the clergy to gain influence. Uh-oh. This is really bad. All right, we're back in this position where we now have a looming disaster coming after us. That's fun. All right, friendlies don't need to stack, but let's go ahead and siege down his capital. And then we'll go save Lu Wu, because it shouldn't be a thing. United States no longer rivals Imperial Peru, as is fitting. Imperial Peru has greatly surpassed you, sir. All right, that's some more rebels dead. Uh, what else do I want to do? Okay, let's see. Finally kill the peasants. I don't have a general, but oh well. I don't think it matters. There we go. Easy enough. Linga has been sieged. Hehe. <laughs> Has become a sustained colony. And holy crap, more rebels. What do you know? Sit there for a minute. You guys kill them. Then come back here. We'll have to deal with that. Uh, new colony, eh? Let's go ahead and join this up here. Border gore reasons. Otherwise, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, we'll unsiege that. And we'll send them back across. And then we'll probably use this navy for something else. I don't know. Cambodians. Oh my god. These are some big rebellions though, guys. Seriously. They got a lot of development that they're working with here. Okay. Uh, there's a fort here. Let's go for that. Making good progress here in Brunei. Brunei, I just want you to peace out, man. They're actually pretty close to doing it. One or two more forts. We can take a lot of stuff from them. Uh, we are righteous. Yearly legitimacy goes up. Don't have any particular use for that, but okay. Ooh, ten. Papal influence for that. That's not bad. Keep converting those Hindus. Turns out they're worth a lot. Okay, the Utsang. Oh, good lord. Oh, wait. I meant to deal with them. Shoot. You come deal with that. Looks like Augsburg is actually dealing with the Shan Separatists fairly well. I'm kind of liking... Oh, wait. Oh, looks like the influence with the clergy already happened to expire. Well, the timing of that was impeccable. Either that or the event didn't actually fire. Perm? Well, that's so far away, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look how many freaking... Okay. Need to get a new general. Yep, that'll do fine. We'll take you. Some maneuver value and stuff. Don't take quite as much attrition. Ah, Khelra. Would you mind handling that? Khelra is another nation we haven't given land to in a while. But okay, uh, there goes that siege. Good. Moving on down here. Can we handle this army? Probably. A little concerned, of course, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can handle that. Not a stack white. Oh, wait. No, not a stack white. But pretty substantial nonetheless. All right, go for the fort. Ooh, and that's done. Okay, so Brunei, are you ready to be done with this nonsense? I'll go ahead and transfer my troops out of the way for the time being. There we go. All right. Um, no, you're still not willing to give up. You lost another fort, dude. I don't know. Brunei doesn't want to give up. They're uh, they're resilient little puppies. But okay. There's too many rebels all of a sudden, guys. Too many rebels. Kill them. You, chase them down. Kill them. Integrating Brunswick. It finally happened. Okay. Brunswick is A-OK. -okay. So, with that out of the way, now I can start colonizing this little bit by little bit. Nifty. Oh my god, there's so many separatists. Rah! Okay. Uh, Buhan. Well, it says it's 51,000, but if they're still at tech level 17, I don't think it's going to matter. There goes another siege. Let's stack wipe these guys this time. Come on. There we go. Alright, that's a stack wipe. Uh, 
I need a transport? I think there's a tiny straight here, and it's currently being blocked, believe it or not. Barely, but I think it is. Uh, okay. Well. What else do you have? Do you have any more forts? Nope. Oh, wait. You have a fort up here. Hello. Okay, let's see if we can transfer up here. Again, I want to get... Well, here's the thing. I don't actually need 100% war score with these guys. I could just piece them out right now and take, like, I don't know, 70 80%. And that'll be fine, because that sets them up for full annexation in the next war, no problem. Yeah, it's probably okay, actually. All right, I'm going to hand this off to, let's say, Holstein. Take that. These. This. Okay, that's 46%. Can't take anything here, but that's fine. We will, however, work our way down this direction. Might be a little bit much on the overextension for poor Holstein. What if I handed this off to Friesland? Well, no. I want to use Friesland for something up here. Actually, no, we have Fair Den. Give this to Friesland. And give this to Helra. There. Problem solved. Okay. Take all that. boop a doop So Helra gets all of this. That's too much. But that seems acceptable, and that sets them up very easily for the next war. Siege a little bit down here. Siege a little bit down here. Take the colonies. And Skadoosh. They're done. Uh, I cannot... Oops. I don't care necessarily if they break alliances, as long as I can co to my heart's content. So I think we just go ahead and leave it there with them, don't have a longer truce timer, and say you're good to go. Alright, so they're out. Good. Brunei. Okay, you're finally willing to give me all of this. Good, I'll take that for myself, I guess. Give me your money. You know, by the way, I realized I totally forgot to kill Sulu in the last war. Totally did. Totally did. Oops. Oh, well. Um. How much else I can take from them if I, unless I take less land? Is it possible to get them to break their alliance? Yes, if I take one less province, it looks like. This one, specifically. That's probably still okay. Alright, you know what? Yeah, I will have them break the alliance, just to make things a little bit easier going forward. I can always declare another war on them, right? Probably. Alright, so Brunei's out. And that leaves Pasai, who I will take pretty much everything I'm allowed. Take a bit of land up here. I'll go off to Friesland. I think they're more or less only going to be left with their Philippine holdings. Or wait, maybe not. Hang on. Is there anything else you got? What about here in Taiwan? Uh, you got a fort. Take that. I can leave them as a one province miner. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Not gonna lie. It doesn't make a lot of sense to leave them as a one province anything. Let's go ahead and send that up real quick. Let's deal with them. I don't want to wait. Um, what do we have as far as overextension? Oh god. Alright, we're, we're, we're a little overextended again. But there goes some cores. Problem solved. Uh, you go kill them. Because there's a lot of them. Did you guys handle the Permian Separatists? Totally did not. Of course they didn't. Why would they? Why would they do something basic and helpful? That's too much to hope for. You go up here, please. Okay. I want to end this video, but let's see if we can get this down real quick. Where's my navy? No, for real, though. Where's... Oh, there you are. Wait. No, come here. I think the wrong navy's on the way. Well. It's probably okay, but even so. Oh, great. Particularists. Come here. Come here. Let's go deal with them. That... I'm going to go ahead and get a foothold going on in uh, Taiwan. Probably don't need to be 
converting those totemists or animists or whatever they are, but even so. Yeah, if I, if I leave him as a one-province miner, that's just a 15-year choose timer for a one-province guy that I shouldn't have to worry about, in my opinion, so... Let's, uh, let's not do that, eh? Okay, land the troops, please. Thank you. Now we sit back and we wait for a second. Go ahead and convert these guys, I guess. Oh, we missed these guys. Hang on. Come here. Iraqi separatists now? Really? Now we have to deal with the Iraqis all the way over here? Good God. They're just cropping up all over the place. Just when you think Iraq has been dealt with. No, I have to come back. Trade crisis. Mm, trade efficiency is fine. Oh my God, there's just so many freaking separatists. I can't. I can't. I literally can't even. Okay, um, kill them. You guys, get ready to march up to Iraq. It's going to be a while. Go for it, though. If only my vassals were a little bit more competent at handling these things, that'd be great. It really would. Oh, boy. Come on, just take the fort. Take the fort. Seriously, though, take the fort. Okay, we're already in position to deal with that. Doesn't matter. We've lost a siege. Oh, great. We got revolutionaries now. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Need to get a general in charge. You'll do fine. Continue the conversions. Finally have a chance. Representation. You may. I may lose power. That's fine. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god! Stop it! Stop it! I am so irritated! <sighs> Alright, split, 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 go here, 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 and here. I guess. 21% chance. Oh my god! This is familiar, by the way. You guys may remember in the previous playthrough, was it Japan, I think? Um, was it in Japan or was it a different series? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, there were frequent times when I was grossly overextended and having to deal with this kind of crap, and it's really annoying. So many freaking rebels. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. Damn it! Come on! I just want to end this video. We're 37 minutes in now. Oh, good God! Disease outbreaks now! <sighs> take it! Take it! More rebels! Finally! God. Alright, take that. I think that's a full annexation of Pasai. Nice and easy. Revoke your cores. And you are out of here. Alright, that's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>